I'm Bleeding Critic and this is my review for the film Hate Crime. Great film title and great poster. I was keen to see how this film was going to roll. James Cullen Bressack directed Hate Crime back in 2012 and co-wrote it with Jarrett Cohen. James chose a different career corridor than his parents. His father won three Emmy Awards for writing children's shows and his mother was the voice of many cartoon characters. The target for this home invasion film is a Jewish family. I'm sure the director and co-writer wanted to include another current religious group instead of Jewish people, but they were probably advised to have Jews as the victims of hate because they don't incline to blow people up or attempt to kill you if they're offended. The actual crime kicks in at the beginning, so you, the viewer, has no time to get to know or empathise with the family. Casting a real Jewish family would have been honest. However, in this production, the acting overall is unbelievable and irritating. The pattern of the film remains at one loud level that actually dilutes its brutal intention. I genuinely got bored quite quickly. What's on screen has been done before and far more disturbing. Two of several annoying observations is when characters were strapped to comfy chairs. It looked like they could easily escape or at least put up a bloody good fight. The on-screen parents didn't demonstrate that pure ferociousness which any responsible parent would display to protect their own children. Subsequently, I presume hate crime was directed and written without any parental experience from the two creatives. A fine example of nothing will stop me, motherly protection, is shown during the brilliant film Chained. So check out my review for that. James and Jarrett should have done their homework. Because if they watched Funny Games, that's the original one, the beginning of Cherry Tree Lane and the home invasion scene in Henry, portrait of a serial killer, they may have taken a leaf from these films and made hate crime realistic, believable and genuinely shocking. Unfortunately, the tired, handheld movie camera technique is used throughout to encourage us to believe this is a found footage experience. And what's really cheap is that this vacuous film experience justifies itself with real life statistics. To be balanced, James and Jarrett had a good concept here. And watching Hate Crime, I thought of some nice touches that they didn't include. And dialogue opportunities that could have changed its monotonous tone now and again. A more experienced director with... Intuitive actors could have made a better film. The biggest letdown is that Jew haters had their time, so the film's religious target is outdated and not fit for today. There's a new breed of haters in the real world, and if these haters were the perpetrators or victims of violence shown in hate crime, then this production, with improved casting would have caused one hell of a political and social shit storm. I suggest you watch A Clockwork Orange from 1971 again instead. I'm Bleeding Critic, and thanks for watching.